Good afternoon, everyone. If you would like to have the block in between your feet to keep those feet parallel, let's all take a deep inhalation, lifting the shoulders up by the ears, and let out a big sigh, letting the air come out of the mouth. Inhale again. <sighs> Exhale. Great. We'll do it one more time. Three times a charm. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Good. And now I would invite you to please close your eyes if you feel comfortable. If you'd like to keep your eyes open, have them focused on one spot, either on the floor in front of you or straight ahead. But be very relaxed and feel your neck and head in perfect alignment. We're just going to take a few moments to let go of all of the chatter that's going through our brains. Begin to focus on your breath. Feel the breath as it flows in through the nostrils. Allowing that belly to expand and then allowing the belly to release back as you exhale. And just begin by noticing your natural breath for just a few cycles of breath. And then as you begin to have your, allow your body to calm down, Feel as though the breath is slowing down ever so slightly. And then begin to notice what part of you is tense, if any. What part of your body do you feel pain? And as you inhale, inhale all of that refreshing oxygen into those areas and as you exhale, exhale all of that pain and discomfort, tightness and stress. Let it just float away from your body as you exhale the air through your nostrils or your mouth. And then as you sit here, let's set an intention for yourself, for this practice whether it be something that you're working on in your own life, a relationship, or a physical ailment or physical ability that you're working on. Think about that now and then we'll try to remind ourselves to remember to work on that intention throughout the class. May I feel safe and protected, live with ease and a sense of well-being. And as we inhale, we're going to inhale our problems and the problems of our fellow veterans. And as we exhale, we're going to exhale the healing power that we all have within us. Inhaling taking in all that strength. Exhale, the power of relaxation and of healing. And one more nice inhalation. And as you exhale, gently scoot yourself up to the edge of the chair. Allow your hands to come down by your sides. And we're going to slowly open our eyes as we inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale as we lower those arms down, nice and slowly. And feel what's more comfortable to you. You can either inhale through your nose and exhale through the mouth, or inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Or if you're stuffed up today, you can inhale through the mouth and exhale through the mouth going at your own pace, raising and lowering those arms. And 
Inhale. And now the next time you exhale, allow that right arm to fall down. And we're going to exhale over to the side. Inhale back up. Exhale, lower the arm down. Inhale, lifting that right arm up. Exhale, over to the side. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower down. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale. We're going to just roll those shoulders. Inhale, lifting the shoulders up. Take them back and around. Inhale, front. Lift. Exhale, back and around. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's reverse that direction. So we're going to take those shoulders back first, lifting up, front and lower. And go at your own breath pace. So we may not all be circling at the same time. I don't want anybody to get lightheaded here. So if you want to slow it down, go slowly, that's fine. Just beginning to warm up those joints. Good. And we're just going to do a seated cat-cow now. Release those shoulders down. Place your hands so that the fingers, if they reach, are in front of the knee. So you can have a little bit of resistance. As we inhale, you're going to lift that chest up towards the ceiling into a cow. As you exhale, starting from the base of the spine, pulling that spine back into cat. Inhale, lifting, feeling that resistance. Feel the sides of your feet pressing into that block, beginning to engage the muscles in the legs. As you exhale, pressing that whole foot into the floor. As you inhale, exhale. <coughs> And then inhale, coming right back to center. We're going to stand up now. So you can either grab onto the chair or come on your own. We're going to come into a chair, a standing chair pose. So you want to keep your legs low down. Let's just start out with our hands at the waist. Good. Holding it here. Inhale, pressing that foot into the floor as you stretch up. Reaching those arms back up as you inhale. Exhale, circle them around, coming back into that chair like you're sitting back on the chair, making sure that those knees are behind your toes. You don't want to have the knees like this. They're pulled back, rear end is back. Good. Inhale, stretching up one more time. Arms can lift or not. Exhale, we circle those arms around. And this time, if you'd like to add on, reaching those arms forward. Relax the shoulders. Yeah, so I'm seeing a little bit of shoulders up by the ears. You want to have them relaxed down. Beautiful. Engage that core, pulling that navel in towards the spine. Excellent. Inhale, reaching back up. Exhale, and then ever so slowly let those arms float down, feeling the air as you float your hands through. We're going to do another stretch to the side, standing this time. Inhaling your right arm up. Exhale. We're going to bend the knees just a little bit. Inhale and lower. And inhale. We're going to go, we're going to speed this up a little bit. Exhale, bending the knees. Inhale and lower. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale and lower. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and lower. It's going to kind of morph into a swing. And, and lift, and let it go. And inhale, and inhale, and let it go. And inhale, and swing, and lift, let it go. Inhale, and over. And reach and let it go. Take both arms just out to the side. 
Let your palms face front. Take a nice inhale here. You can keep your knees bent or straight, whichever feels more comfortable. We're going to take a little twist, keeping your hips like headlights directly to the front. We're going to twist slightly towards the right. And then come back to the center, keeping your breath natural. But keep yourself breathing. Feeling that breath flowing through the nostrils, expanding the belly. Beautiful. And then we're going to begin to make that one a little bit faster. And letting those arms just float as though they were floating in water. And then just like we did last week, you may want to step a little bit further away from your chair. I hope <laughs> because we're going to imagine we imagined ourselves we're in a, a car wash and we have those, those felt uh, pieces of cloth that are cleaning your car and slapping against it. So we're kind of wringing out our core as we s twist and twist and twist twist. Just let the breath flow. And gently come back to the center. Good. We're going to do a standing cat-cow. So inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, sweep them around, bending the knees. Again, placing the hands on top of the knees a little bit over if they can reach, or on top of the thighs. We're going to inhale, lifting that chest up to the ceiling. Exhale from the base of the spine, round that back, so you really want to round the back. Inhaling, sticking that rear end out. Exhale as you round. Inhale, arching that back. Exhale as you round. We're going to do that one more time, and then we're going to roll all the way down. Inhale, and then allow your torso to just rest on top of your thighs, and allow the head to completely release down. Good. Take an inhale here. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, we're going to straighten those knees. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, keeping your knees bent as you exhale. Just let your head shake side to side, totally relaxed, shaking it no, and then yes. Take another deep inhale, releasing all of the facial muscles. Make a sound. <laughs> Shake out that face. <laughs> a few more times. Just deep inhale. Let everything go in your face. All releasing all the facial muscles. And good. And then when you're ready, re-engage those that belly. And gently roll up, keeping your knees bent, stacking one vertebrae on top of the other as you roll back up. When your torso and your shoulders are right above the hips, you're going to use that whole foot pressing into the floor and straightening on up. Good. Beautiful. Let's just take one more deep inhale here, lifting the shoulders up by the ears. And exhale as you stretch it down. Good. We're going to start with a warrior one sequence. So have your right foot in front and have your left foot back. Both feet are parallel and, it, and they're about hip distance apart. Your weight is right in between both feet. We're going to start with lunges, actually. I said warrior one, but we're going to start with our lunges. 
So we're going to inhale as you bend both knees down and that back thigh and knee go straight down. Doesn't matter how far down you go. And then as you exhale, we're going to press on up. Good. Inhale as you go down. Exhale as you press up. Good. Inhale as you come down. Exhale. Inhale. This time as you exhale, we're going to straighten out that back leg. Turn the toes out to the side just ever so slightly, keeping the hips facing straight forward. And let's inhale those arms out to the side, turning the palms up to the ceiling. This time as you inhale, you're going to bring the palms, bending the elbows, bringing the palms towards your ears. Exhale as you open out those palms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And then turn the palms back down. We're going to stretch the hands behind us. And if it's available, clasping the hands, straightening that front leg and just opening out that chest, lifting that chest up to the ceiling. Good. And then release those hands, bending that front leg again, lifting the arms up to the ceiling, clasping the hands, reaching them above you, stretching all the way up. Feel that stretch in, through the back. And if you can, deepen into that pose. Really feel both feet on the floor. Good. Oh, and then bring those arms in front, stretching out that back. Excellent. And breathe here, a few breaths. So you're really, what we're trying to stretch here is that upper back here. And before, we stretched the front of the chest. And on your next inhale, straighten that front leg. Release those arms down by the sides. Or put them at the waist if you would like. And we're going to take a pyramid stretch, keeping the back long. You'll feel the stretch behind your front thigh. This is where blocks can come in handy. Or chair. So that we can stretch and totally relax that upper body. Releasing down. So as you notice, my head is up looking around. But what I really want is for everyone's head to be just re relaxed down. But I'm just keeping a watchful eye. So sometimes we offer chairs in the front. Going on. That's okay. So that can you see me? <laughs> so that you can really fully relax into this position. Still feel the stretch behind here, but now my upper back is totally released. One more deep breath in. And on your next inhale, you're going to bend that front leg, bringing that torso back up. We're going to come into a balance. So bring the arms out to the side. We're going to come into a warrior three balance. And as you inhale, bringing, straightening that front leg, bringing the back leg closer. See if you could lift it up off the floor. Keep that focus on something in front of you. That's not moving. Take a few moments to get your bearings. And then as you get more comfortable in this pose, you will be able to bring that pose all the way forward into a parallel position to the floor. 
I wouldn't try this today. And as we get more advanced, the arms can come forward too. It's a little more challenging that way. The arms out to the side do help with balance. Focus. Notice those carpet fibers and come up with control when you're ready. Let those arms relax down. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, bringing the palms of the hands together and the thumbs by your breastbone. Close your eyes for a moment. And just bring your attention back to your intention. Remembering what our goals were for today's class, your own goals. We'll begin to keep that in mind as we begin the next side. Take a few more breaths here. Feeling the crown of the head lifted tall to the ceiling. The whole foot planted on the floor. And as you inhale, the next breath in, let's lift our arms up overhead. Exhale, allowing them to float back down. And then we're going to step back with your right foot, leaving the front foot, the left foot in front. Hands back to the hips. As wide of a stance as you can take, but still feel comfortable. Remember, shoulders over hips. We're going to bend both knees. The back knee is facing straight down. This is just for building strength and keeping those knees tracking over the second toe. So we do see a lot of knees that want to either roll in or roll out. Try to keep it straight ahead and press up. Linking the movement with the breath, we inhale as you bend, exhale as you straighten up. And if my breathing is either too fast or too slow for you, go with your own breath, not with mine. So we'll all be going at different times. Inhale. And as you exhale the next time, let's straighten out that back leg, placing that whole foot on the floor. Good. Inhale those arms up overhead. This time you're going to bring those elbows out to the side and the palms are going to face front. As we inhale, we're going to open out that chest. Exhale, you're going to bring the elbows in front of you, rounding the back in a different way. Good. Inhale, open, breathing open. Exhale. Inhale, all of that fresh air, oxygen. Exhale out all of the tension. Stretching the body. Exhale. One last time, opening out. And this time as you exhale, just open those arms out if it's comfortable for you. Ah, and feel as though that chest is lifted up to the ceiling like you have a little shelf you're resting your upper back on. Stretching underneath the chin, relaxing that neck. Engage that belly. Inhale, straightening that front leg. Let those arms come down to the side. <sighs> and then we're going to stretch into pyramid stretch on the other side, stretching the hamstring in the back. Again, letting a block, or if you happen to have a chair by the side, just letting that upper body relax. Just feeling the stretch in your front leg. The upper body is relaxed. The only thing that's not relaxed in your upper body is your belly, is your core. That stays engaged the whole time until the very end of class. Unless I tell you. Breathing, allowing that neck.
back to release. And then bending that front leg, lifting, I'm sorry, lifting that body up. Bending that front leg, taking your arms out to the side. I want you to find a focus somewhere in the room, or it can be in front of you on the floor. Really allow your eyes to really look at something. I like to look straight ahead, so that's what I'm going to do, but I know some people like to look at the floor. And that will help your balance as you come up onto that front leg. And do it in, in steps. You can come up to both legs first, and then lifting that opposite leg behind. Feeling that you're being, your foot is planted into that earth. The crown of the head is lifted. The body is long, and you can allow that body to come forward. If you would like, only go as far as you're comfortable. And once again, this is only for advanced practitioner, practitioners bringing those arms in front. The rest of us can be here. If it feels okay, you can have them there too. Stay as long as you feel comfortable, and then come out of this position with control whenever you're ready. Placing both feet back on the floor, lifting the arms up overhead as you inhale, palms together, exhale, bringing those thumbs back down towards your breastbone. Close your eyes for a few moments. Allow yourself to focus in on your feet now, feeling them standing on the mat. What does that mat feel like against the bottom of your foot, that whole foot? Focus back into your breath. Notice if there's anything different about the way you feel now and when you began class or the last time we did this. And on your next inhale, you're going to lift those arms up overhead. Exhale, coming into a forward fold. I want you to, everybody, bend your knees, bringing your hands onto the mat, and then we're going to come down into hands and knees. However, that can be done carefully and comfortably. So, actually for me, and you may adjust yourselves, I like to have something padding my knees. So making sure that your wrists are right under your shoulders, your fingers are facing straight ahead. Good. In this position, you're going to inhale as you extend that right leg back behind you, bringing them closer. And you're going to lift that leg up behind you with the knee facing down to the floor. We're going to work a little bit more on core here and then bend that knee back down. Inhale as you extend that opposite leg behind. Exhale as you release, release it down to the floor. Inhale as we extend that leg behind. Exhale as you release. And those of you who've been coming for a while, feel free to add the arm and the leg so that if you want to Use a little bit more core and balance. Good. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, and we're going to hold this for a few breaths. 
stretching that leg behind, feeling the belly pulled up, supporting your whole torso with your core, those transverse abdominals, pulling you in, keeping your head and neck in an alignment. And release that down. And let's take a little break here. Sitting back on the heels, we're going to come into an extended child's pose. Arms are in front, forehead down onto the floor or onto a block if the forehead won't reach the floor. And just stay here for a few breaths, relaxing. One other modification that we can do in this position, this should be a comfortable position. If it's not comfortable, sometimes it's because there's too much room between the bottom and the hips. And we can take a blanket, towel, pillow, anything you have around, place that there to, to allow your bottom to fully relax. On your next inhale, coming back up onto all fours, hands and knees. We have one more side to balance on. Not time to finally relax yet. Inhale, you're going to take your right leg behind, I believe, and your left arm forward if you were balancing, or just balance with the leg up, keeping the hands on the floor. And don't forget to breathe in this position. Fully beautiful, I can hear you using that ujjayi breath. Gorgeous. And when you're ready, bringing it back down, and we're going to extend back into child's pose. We're going to stretch the back a little bit. So you're going to take your right hand and kind of walk it over towards the opposite side, stretching the whole length of the side of the body. And then bring it back to the center. And we're going to stretch the opposite side. And then coming back, we're going to come down onto our side. And I don't do this often enough, but we're going to take a side plank. One last thing for the core <laughs> before we begin to relax and stretch. <laughs> So we're going to take that bottom leg and bend it so it's all in line with the body, so you're one long line, and then extend that top leg on the ground. And then, if you can, engage the core, lifting those hips up off the ground. Yes. And sometimes all it, all it takes is the intention of moving, the, lifting the hips up. They don't actually have to get there. We're still using our core. Doesn't matter how far up. Good. And keep breathing. And if this feels really comfortable for you, feel free to lift that top arm up. And if it feels really comfortable, you can have both legs extended long. And breathe. And release it whenever you're ready. And let's just come up to a seated position, relaxing. Um, and I was going to have a stretch over to the side, the opposite side, good. And come back, and we're going to stretch over to the other side.
Again, if you have any shoulder issues or other medical pro, um, issues that you cannot do that, it can also be done on the wall, which I will demonstrate later. Okay, now we're going to come around and do it on the other side because we can't be lopsided here. So the key is to have your hip and knee in alignment, in alignment. One long line, shoulder, hip, knee. Good. Hand can be at the waist or the hip. Opposite foot on the floor. Really and feel that belly engage, that whole belly engage, and then lift up those hips. Feel the long line from the tip of your toe through the crown of the head and then lifting that arm up if that's available, or it can also be helping support you on the ground. Now for me, when I'm lifted, my hand won't reach the ground, so you can have a block there so that you can have a little bit more support. Breathing, I can hear you breathing. And on your next exhale, let's release that. Bending those knees in front of you, sitting up in a position, taking that right arm, stretching over, and release it, and stretch the opposite direction. Good. Very good. Over. And. We're going to come down into a, down to the ground <laughs> and just do some stretching and final relaxation. But we'll get down there using our core. So grab on behind your, le your thighs, your knees, and engage that low belly and gently roll down one vertebrae at a time using the belly until you're down onto that back. Laying on the back. Just take a few moments to feel that spine just relaxing into the floor. The neck is long. The back is long. Your feet are right under your knees. Your knees are bent. We're going to inhale here, pressing those feet into the floor. As you exhale, you're going to lift those hips up, coming up into a bridge pose. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you allow yourself to roll down one vertebrae at a time, massaging the back into the floor. And as you reach it, allow that natural curve to come under your, the back. Inhale here. Exhale, pressing out that natural curve, lifting those hips up. One more inhale here. Exhale as you roll down. Inhale, exhale, pressing those hips up, inhale, exhale, rolling down through the back, inhale, and as you exhale, just lift those knees up to the chest and rock yourself back and forth. Relax. Good. Allow that left leg to come down to the floor, keeping the right knee into the chest. And we're going to extend that right leg up, grabbing on either behind the thigh or behind the calf. And as you exhale, Let's lift the upper body up and clasp your hands and hang so that you're letting your upper body stretch you down. You're like a monkey hanging on a tree here. Good. A few breaths here. Just relax into this stretch. It could be behind the thigh, wherever it's comfortable for you. We're trying to release that neck. 
And then allow that upper body to roll back down and just feel that stretch. And release, bending that knee, releasing that leg back, foot to the floor. And then pulling your left knee into the chest, extending that left leg up as straight as it can be. We're stretching the hamstring, grabbing on behind the thigh or behind the calf. Not so much behind the knee, because that's a little bit of pressure in that knee joint. So either above or below the knee. And then release the upper back down and keep that stretch. And you can just relax your foot. You don't have to flex it. You don't have to point it. Just keep it relaxed. Keep that stretch going. Breathe. As you exhale, feel the stretch come a little bit further. So this is what I hate. So I should, I try to time it. I've, I will do that next time I tape. Time it for 20 to 30 seconds, because I hate stretching. I shouldn't say that on video, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, so good for us. <laughs> and now, allow that leg down. We're going to shift the hips, everybody, over to the left. And just have your arms out to the side and allow your knees to come over towards the right. Turning your head over to the left side. Just relax. Yeah. It doesn't matter if we're, we don't all have to be on the same side. Do whatever feels comfortable. <laughs> Now, if it feels more comfortable to relax with your knees resting on a block, just place your block under your knees so that you can really release into that twist in the torso. Twists are very calming to the nervous system. And we will stay in this twist for a while. And then inhale your knees back up to the center. Ah, let's do one bridge in between. So we're going to just press those hips up just to kind of even out your back, and then just slowly, as slowly as you can, rolling out the spine as you lower it down. Should feel good rolling down on that mat. Great. And then shift the hips a little bit to the right as you let your knees fall to the left, or whatever side you didn't do the last time. Arms are out to the side. And your head is turning in the direction, if it's comfortable for you, away from the knees. So that whole spine is twisting, even from the neck, twisting through the knees. And once again, if you would like some support under the knees, so I do this two different ways, and you might want to alternate it yourself. Sometimes I make sure that my knees go all the way to the floor. I'll do it on this side. And then the shoulder will come off the floor, right? And I'm trying to get the shoulder down. Or sometimes I'm trying to keep the shoulders down, and the knees may not make it all the way down. And you can alternate that stretch, stretching slightly different things. Breathing. And then come out of that twist when you're ready, bringing those knees back up to the center. And I'm going to turn and face this way. And then extend those legs out straight. We're going to take a deep breath, stretching the arms overhead. 
Clench all your muscles tight, your fist, your feet, your mouth. Hold it, hold it up. Hold <sighs> it up. Just totally relax. Let's try it one last time. Inhale. Clench everything really, really tight. Hold <sighs> it out. arms to come down by your side with the backs of the hands on the ground, on the floor, palms facing up to the ceiling. You can come into final relaxation. Feel the backs of your legs as they lie heavy on your mat. And then the heel of your foot, allowing those feet to just gently open up naturally. And now, you may allow your belly to soften. No more holding in the core muscles. Just relax and allow your breath to be natural. Releasing the tension in your thighs. Allowing the hips to release and relax. Your belly is soft. Your fingers are soft. They may even be curled slightly. Release all the tension in your jaw. Your lips are soft. Allowing your tongue to just relax towards the bottom of your mouth, or whatever feels most comfortable for you. The eyelids rest gently over the eyes. Releasing the muscles in your forehead, releasing the scalp. read you a passage by Pima Children. We start with ourselves. In cultivating loving kindness, we train first to be honest, loving, and compassionate towards ourselves. Rather than nurturing self-denigration, we begin to cultivate a clear seeing kindness. Sometimes we feel good and strong. Sometimes we feel inadequate and weak but our loving kindness is unconditional. No matter how we feel, we can aspire to be happy. We can learn to act and think in ways that sow seeds of our future well-being, gradually becoming more aware of what causes happiness as well as what causes distress. Without loving kindness for ourselves, it is difficult, if not impossible, to genuinely feel it for others. May I be happy and peaceful. May I feel safe and protected. May my physical body provide me with strength. And may I live with ease and well-being. Take your next breath in, 
Make it slightly deeper. And as you exhale, allow your toes and your fingers to wiggle. Bringing a little bit of movement. And then when you're ready, bend your feet and just place the feet on the floor. And roll over onto one side or the other, coming into a fetal position and stay there for several breaths, allowing yourself to wake up gently. Find your way into a comfortable seated position. It could be back up on the chair, or it could be on your mat. Whatever is comfortable for you. And let's just take a deep breath together, lifting our arms overhead, bringing the palms of the hands together. And as we exhale, lowering those palms and thumbs towards the breastbone, towards the heart. One last inhale together and exhale, gently bow forward. And I want to thank you for joining me in yoga today. And have a great week. Namaste. Take your time.